What did YouTube? It's your boy Bossy, and I am back with another video, man. Tell me on the Black Chicago be like this is part one fourteen. We're gonna get straight to enough of that pussy ass talking shit. I, I do by the by the by the likes of the thumbnail. I need to get straight to it. Oh God, so Pete. Oh, we gotta get to that part for nostalgic purposes. Oh God, so Pete. I gotta start my my story times off like that for now. On. She ate you. On God so Pete. I remember this one time me and my homie Teezy was in traffic on the way back from dropping his car off at the shop. Out of nowhere, he. You know what you think about folks? What's the Cat Williams game? What do he be on? Ah, if I said what I said was a person. You seen that about Dave Chappelle getting on it though? He nah, he do got a point though. We got the whole world against us. Why we get down on each other? That's crazy. Ah. And that's the energy to put into the atmosphere right before Black History Month. Real good activity. He on bro. Hey, you got some gum though? Ah, hell yes, yeah, in the armrest. He on fix and proceeded to search the central console. Right after he slowly pulled out a pair of blue blockers. He, what's to these, gang? What? Bro, talk to me, gang. What's to these? I went in trying to go into the origin of all that, so I just kept quiet. After putting them on, he, this was type we on gang. You out here cutting grass and shit. <laughs> Bartholomew, these the weed whacker three thousands. Ah, nah, bro. Withholding still. He, why do you have these amongst your belongings, gang? Why? Ah, this girl left them in the truck, bro. He, what female had these specially designed spectacles on, gang? Who is she? After realizing I couldn't hold the cat in the bag no longer, I, I hit my first white girl last week, bro. He, damn. Damn, motherfuckers had their first taste of milk and magnesia? With a deep sigh, I, I, right, so this what happened. I had booked a room downtown to crunch this little situation. No call, no show. I was super blue. I had just got back in town, thought I was about to land in something decent. I leave out the hotel after conceding to defeat. Pimping up the street, this white girl walked past me. She, excuse me, I, what's up? She, hey, um, I'm visiting from out of town. Is the green line far from here? Ah, shit, not really. Depend on how you traveling. You finna pimp over there? She, uh, I'm not a sex worker. I'm just a tourist. Ah, nah, I ain't saying as you mean to pimp over there. I mean as you finna pimp over there as you finna walk. She, oh, 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 okay, no, um, I'm actually about to call an Uber. Ah, you said you're a tourist, right? Why are you taking an Uber to the train? She, uh, yeah, I had this nice group of boys tell me, uh, where to go to have some fun in Chicago. After sparking my curiosity, I, where they say to find that at? She, um, I don't know. I actually wrote it in my notes. Give me a second. I ain't had nothing else to do, so why not be entertained? She, yeah, they told me to take the green line to 63rd and King Drive, get off, walk down the stairs, and then I'll see some buildings, and then just walk and wait for someone to say check it out, and then go check it out? Couldn't believe what I heard. If being oblivious and sent off was a person, I, what, what, what dudes told you that? She, it was this nice group of guys standing outside of Saks Fifth on Michigan? Of course, I, where you from? She, Oregon? Ah, you came down here by yourself? She, oh, well, I was supposed to come with my best friend, but she bailed out last minute, so I just came solo. Ah, Chicago not the place to come by yourself, especially not taking no advice from no random up is on the corner. She, I'm just here to enjoy myself and live my life. I mean, I've never been to Chicago, so I don't know. SMH and I. I ain't gonna lie to you, that group of guys that you saw over there on the corner, they gave you step-by-step -step instructions on how to die. She, what? I, they sent you instructions to go dangling by old block. You ever heard of old block? She, oh, old block? I know old block like King Von old block. She starts smiling, she ain't used to this, cause she ain't used to, sh I start laughing. Could have been a pimp the way I move my lips. Yeah, I know old block. Ah, yeah, that one. You ain't wanna go over there, trust me. She, yeah, I know, it's treacherous over there, right? Treacherous? Funny as hell after LOL and I, yeah, treacherous. She, well, thank you so much for like basically saving my life. Ah, right, you welcome. It's cold as hell out here raining and sh You wanna hop in my truck while you wait for your Uber? She, uh, yeah, that'd be great, thanks. Ah, all right, come on. We bell in the back, ah, I, I fix. Motherfuckers ain't got no survival skills. You in a whole new city just going to the ram niggas back seats? Like, come on, son. It'd probably be better for us to sit in the back so you'll have more leg room. I see you.
tall as hell. She, yeah, I'm six one. My dad six eight. Ah, uh, damn. I right. shit. It be like that sometimes. Well, shit. How long are you in town? She, my flight actually leaves first thing in the morning. Ah, uh, oh, okay. Wish it outside of buddy and I'm trying to send you up. Shit's creep. Did you enjoy your time here? She, <laughs> not yet. Ah, uh, oh, okay. Well, shit. What you finna be on? She, you. Plot twist out me. Confused. Right after that, she took the shades off and set them on my armrest. Man, what? Now, that may not have been exactly what Martin Luther King had a dream about, but that night, we may have ended racism. I ain't gonna lie to you. No, that gave me set up vibes. What the fuck? Teasy. Ah! You funny as hell, on bro. But congratulations, though, on bro. He returned the shades to the armrest before pulling out some gum. He, you got five gum game? All right. Yeah, what's the problem? I ain't know he had a preference. He, I'm a GD, folks. How the fuck am I supposed to eat five gum? Beyond me. I would have never thought that that was the matter in question. He, t I'm cool, bro. I just deal with hot breath. What they got to do with anything? Chuckle I. Says, go in black and red. He, but I bleed black and blue. Stop playing with me, facts. Shortly after that, I see this dude bugging up with what appeared to be a harmless intellectualist. Tyrant activity for real now. I'm looking hard as hell at what's going on. TZ, what you looking at? What you looking at, folks? He turned and looked too. I instantly pull over, pop, bell out like 12. TZ, like, where you going? I pimp up to the situation. Little homie, bro, I'm sorry, man. Buddy, nah, I ain't no sorry. Be careful. You got some money on you or something? Little homie, I would if I could, bro, but I don't carry cash on me. Buddy, what cards you got on you? We finna go to the ATM right now. We finna get some of my dead home. Ah, uh, hey, hey, what you on? You tweaking? Hey, hey, bro, you good? La homie, yeah, bro. I accidentally bumped this car, but there's no damage. I told him I was sorry. FYBJ man was in my head like, do your homework, bro. I step over to survey the scene. Buddy vehicle unscathed. I, hey, yo, good, bro. What you on? Buddy, man, you worried about the wrong shit. You want to die? Ah, uh, <laughs> what? Hey, blow that time out. Hold on, bro. Let's, let's go over this little situation, bro. Nigga reaching his pocket say you want to die, and you telling him yeah blow that motherfucker like bro what what what's is that how niggas really act bro? You you can reach in your pocket I don't care if you have nothing or not bro you can fake the funk all you want I'm gone bro first of all I'm not pulling over for no for no civilian getting his shit red I don't I don't know the situation but I'm not for the die for no nigga he gonna pull up intervene with his conversation see that this nigga got a gun and then still say nigga go ahead and blow that bitch man you just Teasy pimp up. Yeah, what's going on? You good? What's happening? Looking at both of us, buddy. I gotta send two motherfuckers up. Get. Ah, right, hey, hey, let's go, bro. Hey, you go ahead. You can get up out of here. After little homie returned to his vehicle, I right, do what you gotta do. I wanted all the smoke. Right after that, this, this dude man. walked out on the porch of the house we were standing in front of. A witness, buddy, ain't want no pie to that. He pimp off in the opposite direction. Me and Teasy about face and head back toward the truck. God work in mysterious ways, creating X's out of brick walls, you hear me? We hop in traffic for a while, I'm just sliding in my thoughts. Out of nowhere, teasy. All right, enough silence, folks. What was to you back there, folks? You almost got us blew down, bro. With a deep side SMH and I, I don't like that shit, bro. I don't like that shit. Teasy, you don't like what? To live? I love my life, folks. You're tweaking. Ah, nah, I get it, my bad, bro. I was bullied all through my elementary school years, so now that I'm older, I don't be for none of that shit, for myself, for nobody else. Heat, I guess, bro. Almost getting killed over my look like Screech, bro, is crazy. Chuckling, I, and I guess the motherfucker that popped out on the porch is the bell that saved us, huh? Heat, whole time, I'm starving. What am I finna eat? Like I, Screech. Well, shit, oh, since we man. already tore us downtown, we could slide to Wilma's new location. They, um, I think it's on, like, it's like right off wall bass type sh Teasy, say less, we gone. Type shit. We pull up, 17 North Wall Bash, Wilma's famous barbecue and tavern. It had a whole different aesthetic from the location they got on 147. A real dining demo, Teasy. Shit, this motherfucker chic as hell on bro. Ooh. <laughs> I adapt a destination indeed. I done probably been in here like four or five times since they opened up. The one thing I appreciate the most though, they was able to transfer the good product from their first location to their new location. 
Motherfuckers do not be understanding the assignment with that. I ain't gonna yeah, lie to facts. you. Teasy. Definitely don't. And it's a barbarian establishment. Facts, bro. There's a place, I don't know if y'all know, there's a place called House of Mac, bro. Well, I used to go to Miami. I used to be in Miami spring break all the time. Every time I go there, I make sure I, you know, whoop, go to the House of Mac. House of Mac, you go in that bitch, you got the violinist or whatever you call them. You got the lemonade, homemade. You got the food tasting good. You, you have a good time. So they brought that bitch to Orlando. I'm like, let me go check the Orlando location, see what they talking about, nigga. You can't even sit down in it, for one. There's no lemonade, and the food tastes trash. And then, and bro, the location is so ass, bro. It's in a spot where, like, bro, there's no parking. Like, you literally have to, like, be dedicated to get this food, bro. And then you're going you gonna to wait, because there's other motherfuckers that want it, too. Because they think it's the same as Miami. I don't know what it is. That... It's the the, 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 the the recipe doesn't get transferred over properly, bro. I don't know what it is. I don't know what they're doing back there in that kitchen. It just don't get transferred perfectly, bro. That place, uh, what's the shit DJ Khaled on? Uh, finger licking, same shit. You know what I'm saying? All wing stops don't taste the same. I don't know what it is, bro. This raw is here. Uh, and I love to see black owned businesses flourish. I ain't even gonna lie to you. The waitress walk up, she, hey Bartholomew, nice to see you in here again. Ah, blessings. How's your day today? She, it actually wasn't too bad today. So what y'all trying to order? Ah, uh, let me get a large turkey tip again. She, I'm already knowing, no pork on your fork. What about you? Teasy, nah, his ass tweaking. I need swine on my line. Let me get some of them large <laughs> rib tips. She, okay, different strokes for different folks. What y'all want to drink? Teasy, nah, my nerves bad. Folks just almost got us killed earlier. Let me get one of them fish bowls from the bar area. I, I think I'm gonna do a lemonade. She, okay, well y'all sit tight. It'll be about 20 minutes. And left to go fulfill our order. Looking at TZ, I, you petty as hell. He, who petty as hell? You the one almost got a Swiss cheese? I, man, he want no shit. Probably had a water gun under his mother coat. TZ, yeah, sure. We was about to get wet up too. I wave it off, but then after that, I peep from the side. The waitress arguing with her co-parent, TZ. What they got going over there, folks? That's a mate and I, I hate that she dealing with that. Dude, man, I ain't trying to hear none of that sh on Steve. Do you think I'm stupid? She, babe, I'm not even on that. What is you on? Dude, you see all these fucking waitresses in here? Let them serve the tables where niggas seated at. She, Mimo, I'm at work. I'm supposed to wait on whatever table is open. He, till I switch it, the up, they close it down and ain't no more table. She, I right, Mimo. He, I know I right. fuck the time about before I get the tweaking in this and walked off. She just rolled her eyes and went in the opposite direction. Not too long after, she was back to serve us our food. Hot portions, you could even see the steam. She took my turkey tips and fries, set them down in front of me, my lemonade, gave Teasy his rib tips and fries, garnish with lemon, handed him his requested beverage. I, man, appreciate you. She, more than welcome. Is there anything else I can get y'all? I, bless. Just one more thing though. Uh, a little insight into what was going on over there. Nigga. I done only been in here a few times and noticed y'all seem to get into it often. Is everything okay? She, yeah, that's just my baby daddy. He just be doing too much. Ah, <laughs> you off tomorrow by chance? She, I am actually. Ah, blessings. Well, um, I notice how hard you work and if you ask me, you don't deserve to be under that type of stress. So if you was available, maybe I could take you out give you an opportunity to enjoy yourself relax a bit she that'll be nice oh this uh, nigga dangerous this is a dangerous nigga bro what, what's got this nigga putting his line his life on the wrist like this so hard bro oh you just heard this nigga say he'll wet this bitch up <laughs> you gonna take the nigga bitch <laughs> let me make sure your baby oh. daddy ain't around before scoping the scene i bless oh. can i get your number she well, I can't do it on the clock, but I'll write it on the receipt. All right, 10 I All right, well, thank you so much. She, you welcome. Y'all enjoy y'all meal. And walked off, slim, thick, teasy. Boy, you not finna do nothing with that, boy. All right, the first step is contact information. After that, while acting out a dunking motion, time out. Teasy. LeBron James from the free throw line on game. Sure. Right, you hit me? Shoot or shoot, but nigga, that was that was covered, bro. <laughs> nigga, you you was smothered, bro. That was a five percent chance of that working. Bro. Any, you did, no. but you did it. Hey, shoot or shoot. The next day, I decided to take her to this ice skating rink that I knew of up north. Some different. 
foreign for sure. I could barely keep my balance on wooden floors with skates, let alone ice. She, is you okay over there? I never thought you'd bring us to an ice skating rink. Ah, nah, I'm good. I mean, since you such a cold, you feel me? It made sense to me. <laughs> While slipping and sliding, she, that was cute, that was cute. I appreciate it. I really needed to get out. Ah, all oh, my pleasure. I mean, I don't know everything about what you got going on, but all I know is you deserve better. And if I can get the chance to give you that new experience, then it'll be a blessing. She, you know what? I think I might be open to that. Right after that, I peep out my peripheral. A cluck on ice? Carrying a bag of ice? Babe, what the fuck is he doing? Buddy was wiggly as hell on the ice. An employee, um, excuse me, sir. Buddy in the bag of ice started making their way toward her. After finally stumbling to the wall, he, I'm sorry, ma'am. You work here? She, yes, I do, sir. What's the problem? He, yeah, ma'am, I'm just trying to sell this ice. This ice y'all got look tap. It's tap water. I got spraying water right here. Looking confused, she, what? He, see the water in this ice came from the spring mountains of Fiji. The ice y'all got in here look like it came from the faucets or old block, man. She, sir, we can't use that ice in this rink, sir. We can't. He, see, I ain't gonna do too much, but look, I'm gonna give you a sprinkle. And lightly powdered the ice with his ice. See, there go a sample. Now you owe me something. I done gave you some ice. Let me hold a couple dollars, man. She, sir, we not paying you for this ice. He, see, y'all ungrateful, man. Get my sh back then. Start picking up the ice chunks. Fuck on. And skated off on the ass. She, bye. And slid off in the opposite direction. I, they funny as hell. Babe, I'm fucking dead. You ready to skate? I type sh and nervously pushed off from the wall. Muffles was out there like Tyler's first learning how to walk. I was not trying to play around with that ice. Not too long after the <laughs> bus marsh. Bay was able to maintain her balance in the dough. 15 minutes later, I was damn near Christy Yamaguchi out there. <laughs> Hands behind my back in some motion. Hitting U-turns and all that. Me and Bay had a ball. A blast, if I may. Even though it was cold out there, my heart was still warm. After we went to return our skates, Bay got a call. She pick up. She, hello? Are you serious? I. And then hang up. Ah, right, what's wrong, lovely? She, my baby daddy was supposed to pick our son up from my mama house, but of course he not answering as usual. I right, all well, if you need me to take you over there to pick him up, I can. It's no problem. She, that is so sweet. I appreciate that a lot. I right, say less, we gone. And proceeded to head toward her offspring. We get that she, that I mean. Sitting on the couch was an older, younger looking human. Babe, you miss mama? Right before we pimped over to him. She took a seat right next to him as he nodded his head, confirming he missed his OG. Ah, how old you is, little homie? He just looked at me blankly with eyes reminiscent of bowling balls. Babe, how old is you, Dada man? Still no response. He looked at like he wanted to say something, but he wasn't academically capable. He finna tell dad. Bay was looking blue. She, he 88 months. The nigga seven? 88. Okay. I want finna ask no questions. Dada man, where's dead? Bay, I don't know, Dada. Did you try to FaceTime him on your iPad? After looking down at his iPad, Dada nodded his head. Yes. Bay, he didn't pick up. Immediately triggered that boy. He meant me. Meant me. Oh my god. Meant me. Meant me. Meant me. Bay, it's okay, Dada man. Meanwhile, I'm still threw off by that pitch and tone. In the midst of his eccentric expression of sadness, his iPad ran. He looked down at it. Whatever he saw hushed his holler a little bit. Babe, who is that, Dada Man? He, my daddy. Babe, pick it up. Dada Man obliged and swiped his uh -oh. iPad is to it answer. FaceTime? He, hey, daddy. Memo, man, what the fuck you on, yo? Steady blowing up my phone, yo. It's tweak. Babe, you was supposed to come pick him up, the Memo, ma'am, up catch the dude. You already there on Steve. What the f? Babe, Memo, your son want to see you today anyway. He, man, what you don't get? I got prior engagement. What the f that shit? Over with, man. Babe, 
sat back and rolled her eyes. Thought I meant, meh, 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 shut that little meh, nigga meh. up. Memo, meh, meh. man, sh meh, up, yo cry ugly as meh, hell, you finna blow me, dude, meh, what the? Promptly meh, after, meh. Dada man's weeping went into a low snivel. Memo, I'ma pick your s up to mine, dude, all right? Dada man nodded happily while wiping snot from his nose. Bay, and he needs some new shoes, Memo. That little boy's shoes had at least 100,000 miles for sure. Memo, me too. You talking about it, hung up. Ah, why he treat him like that? Bay, he low-key feel like that ain't his son, but it is. Ah, they look just alike. They got the same teeth and everything. Bay, he think just cause he light skin, he not his. My brother light skin, my auntie light skin, that's just in our genes. Ah, well, why don't he just take a DNA test and refute all that? Bay, I suggested that to him, but he don't want to do it. That's because he know. I never cheated on that man not once when we was together. All right, type shit. I guess it be like that sometimes. Bay, you ready to go, Dada man? He nodded his head in agreeance. All right, oh, well, I could drop y'all off. Let's go. Being around her kid and getting insight into what she had going on in her personal life drew us closer for real. She had another off day. Three days later, we was right back outside. Go cars having fun. We was both competitive AF too. I wasn't taking no L's. That was bae, but I was still putting belts and shit. We ain't just have fun together. We liked it to learn together too though. Taking a random trip to the shared aquarium type activity. That was my love. Gorgeous geek and I was her nerdy Nutella. Deepest thing about it though, not only did I care about her, I cared about her kid too. Her baby daddy wasn't moving fast enough for me, so I dug in my own pockets and got her son some shoes. His little ass was happy as hell. All teethuses. About two weeks later, me and Bay at this little arcade. Now I already told you, we both competitive as hell on this water game. Bust her ass. Game to game going at it. Now we on the little basketball demo. I ain't even gonna lie to you. She almost had me. She was dropping them for guitar when the NBA gym hitting up. Ah, he's on fire. I start going crazy, you hit me? She doom, 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 barely making shots. Meanwhile, I'm coo, coo, dropping, you hit me? <laughs> Putting them in the bucket. Brought the W home at the last minute. I ain't never played. You would have thought I won the championship the way I was carrying on. Bay, yeah, what up? You cheated. I, I don't partake in those type of activities. I wouldn't cheat on you either. She, is that so? How you know? I, cause I know a blessing when it's in front of me. Okay. And I can never take one of those for granted. Chuckling, she, can I be honest with you? I, of course, feel free. She, the little time that we spent together, words can't express how much it taught me. I, all oh, yeah, care to share what you learned? She, I haven't even been knowing you that long and you treated me better than my baby daddy did in the last 11 years that I dealt with him. Damn. I, 11 years? What made you deal with that for so long? She, you know what? Sometimes after dealing with a person for so long, you end up being a victim of your own loyalty. Ah, right, that's real. And hopefully I could be the knight in shining armor to rescue you from that peril. She, hopefully so, before getting a call. She, hello? You say what? Okay. Okay, I'm on my way. Ah. Honey, what's wrong? She, my baby daddy just got shot and he had my son with him. Ah, what? Is your son okay? She, they say he is, but I got to rush to the hospital. I'm going to hit you up as soon as I can. Ah, uh, okay. I wanted to run up a hand her, but I had to respect her space. Almost 24 hours later, I hadn't heard nothing from her. No call, no text, no nothing. Had me big sad. I'm at TZ Crib P. Bro, you been dry as hell all day, gang. With a deep sigh, I, I can't stop thinking about her. He, damn, she ain't responding. No text, no nothing. Shaking my head, I, hell no. Nah. He, damn, you think she with her baby daddy? I, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I doubt it. We had a talk last night. She was telling me, like, I treat her better than he ever did. Ten bucks says she back with that nigga. We been vibing hot as hell for the little period of time we been.
seeing what's to each other. I felt like I really got to her. Showed her something different. I refused to believe that she, she went back to him. She couldn't have. He, she, then what you think it is? What, what's to her? I, I ain't got the answer, Sway. All I could do is just wait for her to hit me back. I'm sick as hell over that girl. I ain't gonna lie to you. He, oh yeah? Shit, I know it's gonna cheer you up. And got on his phone. Bay was the only one that could rejuvenate my spirits at that moment. Tease shit is actually pulling up right now. I ain't know what he ordered on Uber Eats, but I knew I ain't had no appetite for show. Teasy, and they here and start directing the traffic of several situations. I'm talking about shorting them just got the palin in, taking they seats surrounding around me. Teasy, I right, we got us a little shindig. How y'all feeling, ladies? One of them, I'm blue whole time. Teasy, why? What's to you? She, muff said it's gonna be smoke. I don't see in rotation. Like, what's up? Teasy, damn. You hey, ain't bitch, you just walked in, can't get it high? Fuck. <laughs> Shit. God damn. We let him up go up inventory. She, I right, whatever, nigga. Teasy, to. Damn, y'all ain't gonna speak to my homie. He down about some, he needs some love. What's to y'all? One of the other girls, howdy. Teasy, yippee yo yippee yay yay yo, folks. I want fat ones. Ah, right. how you feeling? The first girl, what up, folks? Teasy, I thought you was a stone. Another one, bonjour. Teasy, motherfuckers in here under the Madeline Act. Okay, I see what the going on. Another one, hi. Teasy, damn, your little ass ecstatic as hell, ain't you? <laughs> Another one, hey, Buki. Teasy, ooh. Yo, cute ass. I just nodded my head. I wasn't really in the mood to say much. The first girl, you ain't got to act like that. Fuck. When they I not her. To none of that. The cowgirl. Don't look at my homegirl like that. Is you cool? Ah, uh, yeah, bro. I, I'm just going to go see what's the shorty. Shorty next to me. And you must see a little bit. The French girl. Now nah, he tired. Before I knew it, nah, all the ass was on that <laughs> with me. For real, for real. I just got up that? out of there. I ain't had a time of the patience. Nah, the he, mofa teasy shit. Nah, I pulled right up the bay crib. I'm walking up to the porch. And who I see? A set of crutches come click clacking out the door. To my immediate surprise, her baby daddy come pimping out on the porch. Posted money. just looking at me. Bring you home. can only imagine how bewildered I was. Right after that, three ne'er do wells bop out the crib, post up on the porch right behind them on straight folly. For the sake of bay, I stood my ground though. Memo, yeah, that little sh you and my baby mama had going on, that shit over with. He was clearly trying to sabotage. I was unmoved. He, but you still doing standing right here on Steve McGee? Beat your feet, nigga. Only thing beating was my high for real. He, what you need confirmation? I bet. Bay, check it out. Immediately after, Bay stepped out on the porch. Bring me my money, bro. Stood next to his guys. Bring it home. Just looking. Hoes I'm standing there like, say it ain't so. Yo, you hoes ain't Memo, shit, Bay, tell that all that shit non-existent and all that shit over with. You back home. She, um, yeah, me and my baby daddy back together, so be safe and stay dangerous. Bring it home, bro. You spent all that time, all that money on that bitch for what? Nothing. Bring it home. Give me that 10. Uh-uh. Nope. Mm -mm. Come on. It's you 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 spent money on the nigga kid, and you ain't getting it back, goofy ass nigga. <laughs> bring it, bring it home, gang. Emo, yo ass now officially trespass, so get the gone for four no Swiss cheese, yo. The nigga treated her like dirt for eleven years. You come in for eleven minutes. You think you finna change some shit? Bring it home, nigga. Come on, bro. <laughs> she ain't interjecting nothing. Fake was looking guilty for real. If ain't nobody tell me nothing, was a person. Baby looks you in the eyes, said, you done changed my life. Then went right back. <laughs> bring, it, bring it home, gang. All I could do is pimp off. Ah, More of the story. He goofy. You can't save everybody. On gun. Dude, I was just talking about in the other video, bro. I, I don't know how niggas do it, bro. Good men never win, bro. You see the nigga actually, he went beyond what he normally would do. He went with a woman that had a child and a baby father that's current in her life. Thought he could change some shit. Did everything he was supposed to do. Was a great man. Tended to the man's child. Did everything that a stepfather who stepped up should do. And now he pimping back to his whip. Going back to square, square root. Square one. Bitch still with the baby dad. Ooh.
ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> no, I could not be that nigga. Oh my god, nigga, the ride home probably so sick. <laughs> nigga, the ride home probably hurt, bro. Nigga driving no music on, bro. Windows down, bro. Just trying not to cry, bro. Love of his life, getting thraxed by the nigga that don't give a a damn about it. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> and it was crazy. There's a reason why he made this story, bro. Either it happened to him or if he see, he's seen it happen before. You know what I'm saying? That's the crazy thing. Cause this, this, this shit happens, bro. As how, how much it happens, I don't know, but it happens. You feel me? That's why I couldn't do it, bro. Because it's like, you see how easy it is? When the nigga got shot. That was the, that was the like, you know, those brought emotions back to her. You know, women are emotional. So she, they probably had, you know, confided in each other. He probably apologized a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And she went right back to the nigga. Oh, they've been together for 11 years. You think you finna, you think you finna inter, inter, intertwine with that? Come on, gang. You, was, you, you, I, do, I know it, bro. Come on. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, smash the like button. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Shout out to Corbett. Um, shout out to uh, Black Chicago. Be like part for 114. Looking forward to the next episode. Um, how much? How many of these episodes have we reacted to, bro? I genuinely want to know. I wonder, because I used to watch the beginning ones, like the parts. I don't remember what parts, but they were like the you know the single digits and the teens and all that. But I don't remember exactly what number we started on. It had to be like in the eighties, maybe. But we've we've been reacting to this nigga for years, bro, and he never disappoints, man. Shout out to this nigga, BT, hire this nigga, please. We out. I know I'm always wasting my time. I, I know I ain't crossing the line. I, I know we push gonna shove when shit hit the fan. You gon' stand on the dime. I, I don't smash so my own post. Ain't nothing. I'm always gon' ghost. ghost. If I'm sick and you fake like so, I'm hot like fire. Come close my rope. I know you bitch. I know you a op. I know you fool.